Hey guys, um, as you know, we planted this black tulip magnolia about two weeks ago and the buds were already forming. But you can see now with this warmer weather, it's finally opening up and I want to show you. I definitely don't regret buying this tree at all. It is um, beautiful and worth every penny. Look at it. Look at how beautiful she looks. This is a black tulip mag Japanese magnolia. And I totally am in love with her. Look how beautiful she is. And this is the only thing that is blooming right now. It's almost at its peak. You can see it's opening up. This one actually has dropped a petal already. I've taken a couple photos of this one. Um, but yeah, beautiful. And it seems like they only flower at the tip. So just like your regular Jane um, or Anne Magnolia. But this is just a black tulip magnolia. I cannot wait until she reaches her full maturity size, which they're supposed to get 15 to 20 feet tall and uh, 10 to 15, I think, feet wide. I'm going to trim it down so it doesn't get so wide. And I'm not sure about the height either because I don't want to see everything at the top. I love the fact that I can walk this close to it and be able to just be at the bird's eye view down here where I can see the flower and really enjoy it without having to like really look up. You can see all the blooms are ready to, oh, look at this one, this petal is falling. This one has already dropped and it just has these little seed pods on the inside. Those one I think matured. Um, they actually flower a little bit sooner and when we first put this into the ground I think it just stressed them and they kind of broke loose this one you can see is starting to go and this one and this one but beautiful I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do I had thought maybe since if I wanted to be super tall I'm gonna come down here and limb all this off but I think I might try to air layer and see if I can get more trees out of them. Wouldn't that be a great idea to air layer these ones at the bottom? And then there is another um, magnolia that I want to show you that is just pushing out to flower. It'll probably be a little bit more open tomorrow. And I believe this is either Jane or Anne. I think, I think this might be Jane, I'm not sure. But look how pretty. This one is also as pretty. It has more of uh, the white on the interior than the black tulip magnolia. And you can see here, the new buds are pushing out. This one, do you see that color? It's got this um, bi or tri color, bi color I think. Because there's really only two, but depending on how you look at it, it's super dark at the base. And then it ombres all the way up until it's almost white at the tip. And then on this inside, it's white. Whereas the um, black tulip, the inside was not white. The inside stayed that purple color. So this one, when it opens, it'll be really pretty. The only thing I don't like about this one is when they do uh, finally open up, um, all the white will show and the white goes immediately brown. So then it kind of looks messy. But for right now, it's looking really pretty. I'm trying to come out of the ground. I also have, this over here is a yellow bird, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna get any flower. I have these little buds here, but I'm not sure if they're just um, budding up for the leaves that are coming out or if they actually have a flower. So we will see. But this one is a yellow bird. And then I also have the white star, which is a lot smaller. This one I might be able to get a couple of flowers, so hopefully we'll see. But this size and statue is definitely a lot smaller than the black tulip or the jane. But it depends on how far you let it get. I mean, how big you let it get. I'm going to come in here and probably do the same thing, limb all of these up. Just leave maybe two, two trunks. 
whereas the black tulip is just a single trunk. And this one you see is a crossing right here and they're going to rub as they get bigger. So once it's done blooming, I'm going to come in and probably cut that off. But these are the only things that are blooming right now in the garden. It is finally getting to be where it's beautiful. 70s, nighttime is about 50. You can see the garden is slowly waking up. Everything is slowly coming out, pushing through the ground. So this will be really exciting. The sedums are slowly showing up here. You can see here along with all the weeds that I don't want, but right now everything is just growing and pushing through. This is the butterfly bush. I prune it back. Roses are budding out here, pushing out new growth. So that's about it in the garden right now. Everybody is just slowly taking the time waking up. Um, this here is yarrow. Beautiful, beautiful yarrow. And like I said, the main showstopper right now, of course, is the black tulip magnolia. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? I'm definitely loving this. Feel that beautiful sun on your face, if you can only imagine. Look at this one. This one actually dropped most of its leaves, except for a couple stray ones. Oh, there goes that one. But they're so unique in how they look. And that is it in the garden. I'm still working, pruning everything back. Look at my dogs. Everything is pushing new growth and growing out of the grounds. And all the dogs want to do is lay in my garden probably crushing all of my plants. You can see over here, this is bee balm coming out here. Bee balms are coming out. What are you doing? You're laying on my flowers. Yes, you are. Huh? Yes, you are. Yep, there they go. And uh, that's what they do. They kind of lay on the garden and I come out here and I get a little bit mad at them, but how can you get mad at that face, huh? I see you. Yeah. You like my garden? Huh? You like my garden? <laughs> I know you do. You're going to destroy everything in the garden. Look at that. When they stretch and they moan and they groan. Huh? I see you. So, yeah. Still trying to grow things while we have. Look at that. He's just scratching up that greenie. I should be really mad and sometimes I am really mad, but... <sighs> then you got to remember, you got to love them. So that is it. Here's another big sedum that's pushing out. This is another big sedum pushing out. So that'll be exciting to see. I've got some uh, cone flowers coming in. But of course, you know, they're going to have to compete against the dogs laying all over them. But this is a cone flower that's pushing out new growth right there. Along with over here, more cone flowers coming out. So everything is just pushing out, but you can see it's still pretty bare looking. We've got only two dogs over here, but they seem to be everywhere. Look at that. So I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Enjoy this beautiful weather. And I hope you get to start planting soon. I am so looking forward to seeing what this year has to offer. Uh, with the garden a little bit more established than the year before and I look forward to showing you guys everything Thank you so much for watching you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye everybody